I decided to, to start uh, my videos in English now. Um, I want to do that because um, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be a lot easier for uh, other people to, to understand what I'm doing. And also because one of my sous chefs suggested that I should start doing them in English. Uh, his name is John and he, he said that he's one of my uh, biggest fans. <laughs> Isn't that right, John? Uh, and uh, he could actually learn a couple of things from me. So um, I'll start uh, I'll start doing them in English. What I what I want to do today is the chicken. I want to wanna roast the chicken. I have a, I have a pot here. The pot itself wasn't designed for for this type of cooking. So I'll, um, the plan is to wrap the the pot in uh, tin foil. So hopefully it won't crack. I'm not sure that uh, I'll uh, I'll be able to do that not to crack the pot, but we'll see. So I have the pot, I want to do the chicken, I'll um, quarter it and put it in, uh, in the pot. I'll start with the chicken, not with the uh, onion or stuff like that, because I want to uh, uh, save some time. I'll, uh, uh, I, I'm gonna cook a little bit the chicken, then start adding the vegetables. I have tomatoes, garlic, the corn, I'll, uh, I'll cook it directly on, uh, on the embers, sorry about that. Pepper, um, and little, the other things. Um, so yeah, that's about it. I'll, put, I'll uh, wrap it in uh, tin, uh, clean fucking in, uh, tin foil. I'm falling a little bit behind with time, so I'm in a hurry. So please uh, have a little bit of patience. And I'm a little, a little bit nervous. My first time when I speak in English. And I'll do it like that. Uh, I don't want to put a lot of foil because I put a lot of foil, then the heat won't reach properly to the, to the meat itself and it won't cook fast I don't want to waste a lot of time I hope to finish everything in two hours if I'm not doing it in two hours then I'll run out of uh, of light I need a one too usually I don't cook with uh, the other side Usually I, I don't like to cook with, uh, with foil, but I don't have any any other idea. Well, I have one, which is to wrap the the pot in uh, in mud, but that will take a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of time to to harden up and dry the mud, and I'm not up to that. Yep, that's it. Now I'm gonna, I'm gonna put oil and put it straight on embers. <coughs> like I said, the pot goes straight on embers. I'll smoothen them up a little bit. Yep, straight on embers. And hope for the best. See what uh, what's gonna happen. I'm gonna put oil. generous amount and uh, I'll focus my attention to, to the chicken this time I've brought some uh, some little tools to is my work the chicken is there start, and I'll start to cut this uh, little boy because I don't want it all I'll cut the string first I'll try to keep it as much as into the bag. It's not the, the easiest way to do that when you don't have a, a chopping board, but I'll do my best like that. I don't want the two bits. That's one piece. I'll 
take off to the wing. I'll add the pot straight away. I don't want the pot to be empty very long because that will put on more pressure on the, on the pot. I'll remove this bit. The other leg. And then the breast. I'll keep it on uh, on the bone. And also I'll put the the back on uh, in the pot. Even though it doesn't have a lot of meat, it has uh, a lot of flavor in the in the bone. And uh, and I'll use it. I don't want the that skin. I won't eat it anyway. Just put it there. This is my. Uh, my lovely breast. I could actually cut it in half, and then it's gonna be a lot. Yeah, I'll, I'll cut it in half. Just for it's gonna be easier for me to play the the chicken later. Add the add the pieces of uh, of meat in the. Never do that at home. Cut things in your hand because you'll end up cutting yourself. The pot has like 10 minutes since uh, since I put it on the embers. It's holding fine. Um, still not uh, not quite uh, hot. I'm getting there, but uh, I'm starting to doubt that I'll have enough power to, to finish the dish. But I'll, I'll still push on and see how it goes. It's starting to, to heat, but eh, slowly. Anyway, I need, uh, I need a lot of... Uh, we'll see, we'll see how, uh, how it's gonna go. I'll, uh, I'll leave it more and then I'll start adding my, uh, my vegetables. I'll prep them uh, in, the, in the meantime, just cut them in big chunky pieces and uh, yep, I'll, uh, I'll see how it goes after another 15 minutes. It's time to add the veggies. The meat is starting to cook, getting hot. Not as hot as, uh, as I want it, but uh, it's different from uh, inside cooking in a proper kitchen. So it's something that uh, I have to I have to compromise if you want to cook outside. Not uh, not all the time the conditions the conditions will will be perfect. And uh, also I started to add some uh, some drift to it, wood to make a little stash here just in case there's not a lot of wood on this beach yeah, I'll add the veggies and then I'll mix them, uh, mix them with the meat and make like a casserole now you could add some stock and usually at home I would have done it differently I would have um, First, uh, sear the meat in a different pan. Uh, sear the sear the onion, then put uh, put them all together with a little bit of stock. But here it's totally different, and you have to do some. Uh, like I said, you have to do some compromises. I'll put the the lid back on and start to uh, feed the fire with the uh, with the wood from from time to time. Right, so I've decided to fucking make it or break it, and I put a lot of wood underneath. It still holds up the my pot. 
and now I'm gonna turn the meat and because the fire is good enough I'll leave uh, the lid a bit off Next time when I'll uh, when I'll cook meat, I'll uh, I'll know that the the thing could take it, and uh, it's gonna be a lot better. Now being the first time, I don't I didn't know how uh, how the vessel would uh, hold up, but I think it did. So be good. I'll have my little sauce, my meat is gonna be cooked and after that I'll take the, the pot, leave it to, to steam more and uh, on the embers I'll cook the corn and also I'll have some wild mushrooms that I'll cook in a separate pan, just briefly cook and one minute they should be ready. I'll stop, uh, I'll stop turning the, the chicken because I'll break it, there's not enough room and I don't want to mash it up in there. The corn is ready. It looks a little bit dirty, but um, if you tap it, it will uh, clean properly and I'll um, wipe it with a little bit of uh, paper before I uh, plate it. Now it's time for, for me to cook the, the mushrooms. I'll put the pan straight on the embers. Now it's time to cook the, the mushrooms. I just put them in a pan. Now it depends by uh, everybody's preference. I could eat, I could, I could eat mushroom uh, raw. I quite love them like that. So I won't cook them a lot. Just heat them through. And for me, they're perfect like that. I put them in, uh, in the pan just a little bit of oil. Then I'll add seasoning, and that's it. That's my uh, my last job. Then I'll uh, play I'll play anything. And also I have here some asparagus. I'll throw that in as well. So this is what I've uh, what I've done in almost three hours. I've tried to make it a little bit nice on the plate. Um, again, I've got my fork. I'll uh, I'll try it in a second. I have here a little bit of the tomato from the from the stew, mushrooms, a little bit of corn, asparagus. The chicken and chicken tastes good. Mushrooms. I'm fairly happy with what I've done. I'm more pleased, to be honest, about the, the fact that I didn't broke the, the vessel. That means that I could use it again, and now I know how to to approach this uh, type of cooking. I'll be I'll be more confident, and um, 
putting a lot of uh, heat underneath it. I know for, for a fact that I won't break it. 